Despite the heavy rains, the group remained determined to advocate for change. The Rotational Nurses and Midwifery Association and graduate unemployed nurses converged at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital Ridge and moved to the Health Ministry where they formally submitted their first petition. We were posted in July 2023 and as we speak we are nine months into our service without any of our allowances. Our concerns have been written to the ministry. Follow-up letters were sent, but to no response. Working without payment is difficult, so we are pleading with them. We are working on that, and we can assure them that government is committed into ensuring the payment of those allowances. All we want to assure them is to give us enough time as we pressure the negotiations. We are demanding the allowances. Over 12,000 Ghana cities in allowances remain unpaid for the July batch of the Rotational Nurses and Midwifery Association. The alleged multiple letters sent to the ministry since September 2023 requesting the release of financial clearance for payment have gone unanswered, which is really disturbing. Despite the relentless rain persisting for over an hour here in Accra, nearly all the trainee nurses found themselves caught in a downpour. Karen Apia, a 28-year-old mother and unemployed nurse, arrived at the demonstration with her baby securely tied to her back despite the drizzling rain. Since 2020, she has been persistently seeking employment opportunities. I really want to be posted because I'm not able to give my child what he really deserves. He needs to be in school, but I can't pay the school fees. Right now, I saw onions and then um, second-hand clothing. Atta Asante is the secretary of the Unregistered Nurses and Midwives Association. I'm into illegal mining because I don't have anything doing. Nothing has given me money to take care of myself, to take care of my sick mother and my other relatives. So I have to engage in anything that will give me money. So around my area, that is Jabu's area, the only thing I can do to fetch me money is to enter into illegal mining. My mother, my father was a cocoa farmer. But their cocoa is dead, everything is finished now. So I have to enter into illegal mining that will get me money. I've been to illegal mining for two years now. The group marched to Parliament House and presented another petition to Deputy Clerk of Parliament, Ebenezer Jatro. You are here in your own right as Ghanaians with concerns. And you have done the right thing by presenting the petition. Will receive the petition and make sure it is brought to the attention of Right Honorable Speaker. It has been very hard. Imagine going to work without uh, any, any form of encouragement. When we wake up in the morning, there is no encouragement to go to work. When we go to work, what do we eat? Our landlords are chasing us, utility bills, uh, transport fares. So those are the challenges we are going through. And it's unfortunate. We have to embark on this mission now because some of our colleagues have lost their life. After serving the nation for six months, they've lost their life. What happens to their money? They will not be paid. Their families will not be compensated. Over 75,000 graduate unemployed nurses and midwives lack of unemployment four years after completing their education. Godwin.